Morning. This is a quick training video on how to reduce an image file size before uploading it to a WordPress website um, without using any software like Photoshop. So it's a reasonably simple method. I should note for this video, I'm using a Mac, so the interface on a PC may be slightly different. Um, so let's get started. I'm, I'm using uh, the website from uh, one of my lovely clients, Sherry Hostler. As an example, we have an image here, which um, is quite small on the website. It's, uh, I know it's 300 by 200 on the website, but it's actually been uploaded at full size, um, which is taking a lot of space. To show you, here's the file um, that was uploaded to the site. You can see it's a 2.8 megabyte image, which isn't really ideal. Um, and uh, we really want images on websites to be very small, less than 100 kilobyte, um, if at all possible. So let me now show you how to change that image. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the image simply because whatever changes we make to it then won't affect the original file. So to do this, I just right click on the image file and go duplicate. It will make a duplicate of the image. It's called a copy. I'm going to call it um, small um, as it will be the name I would look to upload it as the website. Um, so there we are with our small images here, ready for change. So uh, next step is simply to double click on the image. This will open um, preview on the Mac um, and it will come up on the screen. You can see it's full size here. So to reduce it, um, I know it needs to be 300 by 200 on the website, but um, I'm going to go for a slightly bigger size just to show you another compression method afterwards. So simply go to tools and in the tools menu on preview, Adjust size. As you click, you will get a dialog box. Um, you need to make sure that this is uh, set to pixels and the padlock is on. That is so that when you change one of the dimension, the other one will respond proportionally. So let's change the image for what is at the moment 5472 to say 800 pixel wide. You'll see that the image now resizes automatically. It's at 72 pixels per inch, which is quite a good size for websites. And you can see the impact already. It's reduced to 129 kilobyte from 2.8 megabytes, which is a very good reduction so far. Click on OK. That will automatically update the image. Close the window. And then the image has been edited. And you can see that it's now 134 kilobyte, whereas before it was 2.8 megabytes. Now, there is one more step to take to reduce it further, and that is to compress it so that it takes even less space, which your visitors will thank you for and your webmaster will thank you for. Um, for this, I use a handy little um, website called tinypng.com. Um, I'm gonna shrink the window so we can see both windows at the same time. So you simply go to tinypng.com, um, take your image and drag it in the box over here and it will automatically shrink it for you. So if I take that image, drag it, the box goes green, let it go. You can see I had to go earlier. Um, this has now reduced it from 134 to 73 kilobytes. Um, it is sitting on their website, so we just need to download it. So if I click on the download button, it will bring it down here. Um, the reason there's one here is I, I had a, a trial run beforehand. So it is now sitting here um, on my browser, I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. Um, you could drag it anywhere into a, a folder, but I'll drag it to the desktop for the sake of the example. Um, it's a zip file, so on the Mac, there's a zip file. Simply double click on it, it will extract it. Um, open that folder, and you'll see it's actually got several versions of it because I actually did practice before running this video. Um, but here's our image um, that we've just uploaded, and you can see it's now 73 kilobyte. Um, so I can now, I mean, for completeness, I probably should um, put it somewhere um, where I need to find it. So I'm just going to take that image and bring it back in the folder we had it and place it, yes. Um, and there you go. We have now have a small version at 73 kilobyte, and we've kept our original at 2.8 megabyte. This now means we're going to blow this to the website and have a much smaller um, image. Uh, it's particularly important because most um, uh, WordPress themes will automatically create more than one image size on upload. So it will um, multiply the size of your files quite quickly if you don't upload small images. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. 
This was my first video, so I hope the next few will be slightly less rubbish than this one. Thank you for watching, and I will now stop the video if I can find the window again.